Hello, Top Flight family. Hope everybody's doing well. You guys have no idea how much I miss being on the basketball court with all of you. I know these are difficult times. For many of us, it's been months since we've been able to get on the basketball court and get a real game in. But one thing I know about our players, we don't let difficult circumstances define us. We're going to find a way to get better no matter what the situation. So what we've tried to do is put together a big program online that doesn't need a basketball hoop where we can still work on a lot of different things, different areas of our game to help us improve. This course is going to help us with our ball handling, our footwork, our shooting mechanics, and our overall conditioning. We're also going to have some of the best coaches and trainers in the world to help us demonstrate these drills and share some of the secrets of their success. So, let's not let the fact that we can't get, on, get in on the basketball court stop us from getting better. We're all top flight. It's what we do. We don't let tough circumstances define us. We overcome difficult circumstances. Let's do this. Go top flight. All right, top flight. Let's get ready to work. It's Coach Moose. Uh, out in LA, we're gonna put you through a nice little workout today. All right, we're going high knees right now, high knees. Let's get our minds right, let's get focused. We got this. Are right, we getting the butt kicks? Get our bodies right. Let's focus on getting better for these next 30 minutes. Right, we're gonna go arm circles. We go one at a time or both at the same time. Backwards. Go one at a time. Really loosen up those arms. Jumping jacks. Feet six inches apart, we're gonna just hang down and stretch. Bend our knees and come up. Let's stretch our groin now. We'll push to the side, push to your right side. Hold it. Really get a good stretch. Now we're going to the other side. Just follow me. All right, back to the right. And to the left. Yeah. Awesome. All right, we're going to lock in on something. So we can keep our balance. We're going to grab our right ankle. Try to focus on one specific thing, a spot on the floor, a spot on the wall. Keep your balance. Good for strengthening ankles as well. All right, cool. Grab your left leg. get into some movements for this stuff too, but one leg is gonna be better than the other. Your dominant leg might be better than one, might have more balance. But this little here to work on that for. All right, perfect. Get another toe grab. All right, now we're gonna work on ankle mobility. 
keep our left leg on the ground. Left foot is planted. Right leg up, and we're gonna push it. Kick out to the side, back. Don't let that right touch hit the ground. We're gonna try to do it four times. It's two, up, side, back, up, side, back. All right, that's two, that's, I mean that's four. Going to the other side, right leg is on the ground. Picking up, side, back, up, side, back, up, side, back. Good job, one more. Up, side, back. All right, perfect. All right, cool. All right, we're going high knees right now, high knees. Let's get our minds right, let's get focused. We got this. Are we getting the butt kicks? Let's get our bodies right. Let's focus on getting better for these next 30 minutes. All right, we're gonna go arm circles. We can go one at a time or both at the same time. Are right, we going backwards? One at a time. Really loosen up those arms. Jumping jacks. Six inches apart, we're going to just hang down and stretch. Bend our knees and come up. Let's stretch our groin now. We'll push to the side, push to your right side. Hold it. Really get a good stretch. Now we're going to the other side. Just follow me. All right, back to the right. And to the left again. Awesome. All right, we're gonna lock in on something. So we can keep our balance. And we're going to grab our right ankle. Try to focus on one specific thing, a spot on the floor, a spot on the wall. Keep your balance. Good for strengthening the ankles as well. All right, cool. Grab your left leg. get into some movements for this stuff too, but one leg is gonna be better than the other. Your dominant leg might be better than one, might have more balance. But it's just what we're here to work on that for. All right, perfect. Get another toe grab. All right, now we're gonna work on ankle mobility. Keep our left leg on the ground. Left foot is planted. Right leg up, and we're gonna push, kick out to the side, back. Don't let that right touch hit the ground. We're gonna try to do it four times. It's two, up, side, back, up, side, back. All right, that's two, that's, I mean, that's four. Going to the other side, right leg is on the ground. 
speaking up, side, back, up, side, back, up, side, back. Good job. One more. Up, side, back. All right, perfect. All right, cool. With the spot in the finals on the line, that means it's about time to do a top five from NBA.com at number five with Daniel Tice literally falling all over him. Bam, gets the and one with the friendly rim. That's in at number five, on to number four. With the steal, it's Jalen, and from there, he's straight sailing. Brown, throw in, down, and he sort of sticks the landing. That gets in at number four. At number three, for the last time this season, it's Jason Kaysen, a steal, and from there, things get real. Tatum played him with the huge hops, and that one drops at number three. On to number two, and it's a bam slam as he just sort of glides and strides to the rim to throw that one in. That's at number two. But at number one, it's the hesitation, then the detonation felt across the nation. Adebayo gets the hammer throw and lands at number one on the Come on. I'm Coach Dave. Coach Matt. And I'm Coach Gabe. Top Flight Tips coming soon. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Top Flight Tips. My name is Coach Gabe. And today we're going to talk about shooting. Three main things that we want to talk about today is beef, hand placement, and our fingertips. about beef we're talking about our four fundamental principles B for balance so when I shoot the basketball I want to be in my triple threat stance nice and low feet just outside my shoulders and I'm balanced I'm ready to go a B for eyes my eyes are locked in on my target I'm looking at either the front or the back of the rim not my friends in the stands cheering me on the second E elbow I want my elbow in a line with the rim right here added stability and accuracy. I want my toe, knee, hip, and elbow all in a straight line with the rim. And finally, the most important, follow through. At the end of my, sh when I shoot the basketball, I want to release my, my shot at the highest point. So, balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Our second topic is hand placement. I want my shooting hand, so my strong hand, to be placed under the basketball. So if you look right here, I've got my C formation, the ball resting on top of my shooting hand. My guide hand, so my weak hand, is gonna be on the side of the basketball here. I don't want it in front of the basketball hindering my shot or on the side equal like this. I want it on the side right here where it's guiding my shot. If you look at my thumbs right here, it should form either a big L or a W. Our final tip for the day is fingertips. As in dribbling, passing, and everything else in basketball, we want the basketball on, the fi on our fingertips. So if you pay attention right here, when I'm holding it, there's actually a gap between the basketball and the palm of my hand. Same thing on my shot. When I'm going up, I want to release with my fingertips at the end. That's how you get that nice soft touch to get you a good shot every time. Okay, so recapping. We've got our beef fundamentals, balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. A good drill to help you knock this down is you take your one hand, you make sure that everything is in line, I'm balanced, my eyes are on the rim, my elbow is lined up, and that follow through. 
with this drill, I'm gonna apply hand placement and my fingertips. I'm releasing with my fingertips at the peak of my shot every single time. Another drill to help you with hand placement. I'm in my triple threat position. I'm gonna place the ball on my knee. I'm gonna roll the ball up as high as I can until my fingertips can't push anymore. I'm gonna bring my guide hand in and I'm just gonna simply lift. This is gonna help you get the perfect hand placement every single time. I'm Coach Gabe Riche, and this was Top Flight Tips. I'm Coach Dave. Coach Matt. And I'm Coach Gabe. Top Flight Tips, coming soon. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Top Flight Tips. My name is Coach Gabe. And today we're gonna to talk about shooting. Three main things that we wanna talk about today is beef, hand placement, and our fingertips. First things first, beef. When we talk about beef, we're talking about our four fundamental principles. B for balance. So when I shoot the basketball, I wanna be in my triple threat stance, nice and low, feet just outside my shoulders, and I'm balanced, I'm ready to go. B for eyes. My eyes are locked in on my target. I'm looking at either the front or the back of the rim, not my friends in the stands cheering me on. The second E, elbow. I want my elbow in a line with the rim, right here. For added stability and accuracy, I want my toe, knee, hip, and elbow all in a straight line with the rim. And finally, the most important, follow through. At the end of my, sh when I shoot the basketball, I want to release my, my shot at the highest point. So, balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. Our second topic is hand placement. I want my shooting hand, so my strong hand, to be placed under the basketball. So if you look right here, I've got my C formation, the ball resting on top of my shooting hand. My guide hand, so my weak hand, is gonna be on the side of the basketball here. I don't want it in front of the basketball hindering my shot, or on the side equal like this. I want it on the side right here, where it's guiding my shot. If you look at my thumbs right here, it should form either a big L or a W. Our final tip for the day is fingertips. As in dribbling, passing, and everything else in basketball, we want the basketball on, the on our fingertips. So, if you pay attention right here, when I'm holding it, there's actually a gap between the basketball and the palm of my hand. Same thing on my shot. When I'm going up, I want to release with my fingertips at the end. That's how you get that nice, soft touch to get you a good shot every time. Okay, so, recapping. We've got our beef fundamentals, balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through. A good drill to help you knock this down is you take your one hand, you make sure that everything is in line, I'm balanced, my eyes are on the rim, my elbow is lined up, and I follow through. With this drill, I'm gonna apply hand placement and my fingertips. I'm releasing with my fingertips at the peak of my shot every single time. Another drill to help you with hand placement. I'm in my triple threat position. I'm gonna place the ball on my knee. I'm gonna roll the ball up as high as I can until my fingertips can't push anymore. I'm gonna bring my guide hand in and I'm just gonna simply lift. This is gonna help you get the perfect hand placement every single time. I'm Coach Gabe Riche and this was Top Flight Tips. What you gonna do, Mark? Oh, big body, big body. Those are the type of one-on-ones that actually get you better. There's no one else helping you. It's, there's somebody in front of you that's just as good, and you gotta compete. I dominated the first one-on-one. -on -one. She was using that first step, right? You can't guard that first step. You can't guard it. Mark started being more physical. He started having to pull up. Took him away from what he was comfortable with and Mark's a shooter, 
The defender left the hand down. Marsh just keep giving him bucket after bucket. Now it's 1-1. They're going to have another one-on-one -on -one at the end of today. All right, we're going to see who the champ is. That's what you need to be like in every single practice. Oh, yeah, big body. Big body. What you going to do? Oh, no left hand. If me and Coach Toshi are on the same team, we're the same position. So I would have to compete with him in every single drill. Every single drill, I have to do better than him or the coach is going to play Toshi over me. Hello to all my top play Hong Kong athletes. Coach Matt Van Pelt here. Top play basketball academy. Thank you today for joining me as we go through this ball handling workout. This is just going to be a workout you can do right at home. You don't need a huge gym. You don't need a ton of equipment. All you need is a little bit of space and a basketball and we can get better. All right, throughout each and every one of these drills, I want you to go as hard as you can trying to get out of your comfort zone and trying to speed up your dribble. Again, do not be afraid to make mistakes at any point in the workout. If you lose the ball, that's perfectly okay. In fact, that's what we want, because if you're never losing the ball, you're not trying to speed it up, you're not actually getting faster with your dribble. So mistakes are okay. You'll probably see me make a couple mistakes throughout the workout. All right, if you lose the ball, just run, go get it, come right back to your spot, and we'll keep getting after it, we'll keep working. All right, thank you for joining me today. It's gonna to be a two-part workout. What I mean is every drill you're gonna do two times. So we'll have round one, we go through all the drills, and we'll go round two, you're gonna do the same drills again at the end, but you're gonna to try to speed it up and increase your intensity. All right, we're gonna go as hard as we can, just try to improve our ball handling abilities, and as always, try to have fun with it. All right, thank you for joining me. Let's get started.
Chris Miles here with your top five plays from the Western Conference Finals Game 5. Lakers on Kuz control. Kyle Kuzma right at Michael Porter Jr. How about some defense? Danny Green putting a D in his name on Mason Plumley. Number three, more late show defense, or shall I say, Caruso show. Anthony Davis with the steal. Then Alex Caruso goes high definition. Let's go another dimension. Anthony Davis. 27 points. We saw the O, but for the top spot, how about the defense? The domination over Michael Porter Jr. Meets a shot at the rim. That's how we win. Lakers advance to the finals. And you guys should feel kind of really relaxed. Pulling our toes to our shoulders. All right? You'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Your butt should be pulled against this. All right? So pull your toes down, head down, close your eyes. Going about 20 seconds. Now you're gonna let your legs fall apart. So you're gonna go into almost like a baby pose. Imagine keeping your butt against the wall, then you can push your legs out a little bit. You should feel a stretch in your groin. Feel the stretch. Turn your legs and push your knees down. Feel it? All right, the next one you got, your legs go straight and you try to let them fall into the splits. You need to move apart if you can. Keep your butt against the wall. Try and get your legs spread apart as far as possible. One. Good, once that happens, grab the bottom of your knees. If you stretch well enough, it should hurt to bring them back. So if you guys didn't push that hard, that's on you. This time, slide your butt a little bit away from the wall. Press yourself away using this leg, and you're gonna make a figure four. Pull your heel down to the base right here of your quad. And then you wanna sit and try to get your butt to again touch the floor. This is gonna give you a hip stretch. If it's not enough, Put your arm here and then you press your knee towards the wall. You guys feel it? Switch sides. Drop here into the base of the quad, pressing me out. All right, next one, you guys swivel around. I want you to have all eyes on me, your toes up, and I want to grab the top of my foot. Now what we're going to do here as we activate our hamstring stretch, I want to bring my elbow down so that it touches my leg, okay? If you cannot do that, grab the base of your ankle and then try to pull your elbow to touch the floor. That's going to be quite easy. 
Be a little bit more advanced. Grab here and pull that elbow down. Keep your legs flat. Okay, the next version of this stretch, I'm gonna take my opposite hand. I reach around, I grab my heel. You'll feel your foot shift, and you'll feel the stretch shift. Put your hand out this way, and then bow your head. Good, now we're gonna go two hands. Two hands go around the foot. We're gonna bow our head, try and touch your head towards your knee. All right, come up, slowly release your other foot. Now the same leg that we stretched just now, we're also gonna stretch that one more time. We're gonna stretch the peroneus longus muscle, I think that's what it's called, but don't quote me on that. So what I wanna do is I wanna get my opposite hand, reach around the outside of my foot so it's gonna turn a little bit. And as I do that, I wanna try to straighten it. All right, you're gonna feel the stretch all the way down on the outside of your leg. Don't grab the top. Grab on the side, boom. And you're gonna bend your ankle and then try to straighten out that leg. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, then you pull that one inside to the other side and we're gonna repeat. So we go here on the opposite side, bring your elbow down. You guys feel this or no? Yeah? yeah? Tough, right? Can you straighten your leg so we actually get a stretch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we go to the opposite. Grab over so your other hand comes across. Bow our head this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys need to stretch. <laughs> All right, so come back, two hands, bow your head. Okay, so slowly release this other foot, grab around the outside and see if you can straighten out this leg. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, guys. All right, so now we're gonna get the top part of our leg. Okay, so we're gonna get the quad. Here's how we do that. We're gonna come up like this and kind of balance on our toes and sit on our heels. You guys should be with me here. Okay, now as you lean back, you're gonna try to keep your uh, heels in contact with your body, and then you're gonna lean forward and lean back at the same time. And this should give you a really good quad stretch. If you can touch your knees, that's really good. And you just lean back. Slowly come up. Okay, next one. Feet come a little bit further apart. Now we're gonna push with our elbows, our knees out to the side. Hands go to the ground, we separate our legs and we're gonna let ourselves fall. You guys get? Let yourself hang. Slowly bring your hands back and then pull even further. Walk your hands forward and then they're gonna drop to the side. As we drop, we rotate our foot and we sit on the opposite heel. And again, our elbow's job is to push out the knee. All right, and then you can bring your back a little bit up so that we open up the legs. One, slowly transition to the other side. Sit in it, press, slowly bring the body up. Good 
good work, guys. All right, now we're gonna bring up to the middle again. As we go here, we bring our feet in. We wanna be just outside, just inside shoulder width apart. And I want again to just hang. So cross your arms so you got some weight and just let yourself fall forward. Slowly rise up, shake your body a little bit loose. Your legs should feel nice and uh, relaxed, all right? Last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen up the upper body a little bit, okay? So we're just gonna move our head and stretch it out a little bit to the finish. So hands on hips. What I want you guys to do is look at the sky and look at the ground. So we're gonna look at the sky, look at the ground. Look at the sky, look at the ground. Three, four, and five. Then we wanna look over our right shoulder and over our left shoulder. Two, three, four, five. Then what we wanna do, we wanna put our ear to the sky and other ear to the sky, switching over. Nice and easy, don't need to push it too hard. Just trying to relax the body. Okay, hands, you're gonna go behind our head, nice and easy, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna let the weight fall, stretching out the back of the neck. Nice and easy, put your hands like this, push up. Relax, roll out your shoulders. And you guys should feel kind of really relaxed and ready for a good nap. <laughs> All right, guys. So thanks for the session.